Hey guys, it's Scary Ghoul, and today we're gonna be playing some more Minecraft. Where we last left off, we just. Ow, my frame rate. We just secured a few blaze rods down the corner. And now. Whoa, this place is beautiful. Ah. And now we're gonna go find some. What? 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 Whoa! No! Don't jump off! <laughs> God, I'm being suicidal. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the hell is a skeleton doing down here? The skeletons aren't in the nether. Okay, well, we last left off, we secured some blaze rods, and now our last objective in here is to grab some nether wart before... Ow! Before we leave off. And I have five arrows, I don't want to waste them. I want to save them for blazes and those obnoxious guys in the sky. Okay, let's go check out that black skeleton. Oh, no, there's another blaze spawner. We gotta get rid of that now. That's probably why there are so many blazes that way. Oh, no, it's active. Ugh! Where is he? Okay, he's gone. We got it before it got active. That's good. That's a massive amount of... whatever. Okay, no, I was about to kill that guy, and that was a bad idea. We're running low, and... Okay, where's that black guy? Oh, god, I forgot he's hostile. Zombie pick... Zombie pigmen aren't hostile in here, but skeletons, as are always. And where's the black one? I know I saw a black skeleton. Did he despawn? Um, I'll be right back. Somebody's at my door. Okay, guys, I am back. And we were last looking for that, that little black skeleton. It doesn't seem that he fell off. <laughs> God, what okay, I think there might be a lava lake below us. Yeah, there's no way he fell off. Did he despawn? I thought creatures didn't despawn anymore. Oh, that's a shame. We were so close to him. Why would he do that? Okay, let's go check out this way. Ah! <laughs> okay, this frame rate is terrible. I can't wait to get out of here. Alright. Up there is what. Oh, that's the. Whoa, what's that noise? That is a gas making those kitty cat noises. And that over there is what we're gonna. Ow! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> that over there is what we're. Okay, you can have fun on the floor. We're gonna play with this guy up here. He looks like he's all alone. Alright, this looks kinda dangerous. No, that's okay. Let's beat this guy to death with a shovel. Where is he? Hello! I come sort of in peace, not really. And what's this way? Oh, are these just like a little mushroom farm this way? Maybe there's nether warts. Okay, no. Okay, you know what? I'm kind of angry now. Let's. Or this guy's definitely gonna die. We haven't really used our shovel yet, so. Take that. Let's get some critical hits on this guy. Alright. Oh god, no. So. <laughs> they act like normal slimes. Oh god, there's a lot of these things. They're like slinkies. Terrible. Do they actually hurt you? Hello? No? God, I just murdered like an innocent mob. Alright, well, do we get anything from them except not nah, experience, that's good enough reason to murder them. Alright. Yeah, level ten. Let's grab some glowstone since it's like right there. Whoa! <laughs> Forgot how amazing this pick is. Okay. Well, let's go try and find some more of those black skeletons. And then we also still want to find the nether warts. The black skeletons is just kind of like a little side quest, which is awesome if it happens, but it's not a, like a mandatory thing. And there's two guys here looking to jump us. Okay, they're flying up high. Kind of rude. All right. Okay, we got one of them. And the other one's way up there. Can we... Oh, yes. Now. Alright, where is he? He's down there. Come fight, like, fight me like a man. Alright, let's go this way. Like, there was a gas this way as well. Okay. Looks like this is a dead end. Fantastic. Oh, God, is he shooting at us? Okay, let's eat real quick.
No. Alright, I've had enough of this guy. Wait, can we kill him with a flaming arrow? Oh yes, perfect. Okay, that was that was amazing. All right, we need to find. Oh, that looks that looks cool. I could totally see having a little village in there, and it's oh, and it's lit up by glowstone. That's that's amazing. All right, well, let's go back inside the little fortress. It's like Superman's fortress of solitude. There's nothing in here. Why are superheroes always so secluded and just kind of alone? Alright, so we must have come from that way and then put that there because these two were dead ends. So let's go back. Oh, all of these must have been dead ends. But this way has no marking, so let's... Okay, that one was a dead end. There was blazed men up there, so this is all a dead end. Oh man, this place sucks if there's nothing, like, no nether ward around. Alright. I can't see the end of this. What's this way? Why didn't I come this way if there's... Why wouldn't I come this way? It's so long. There's... Oh, no. So we did come this way. It's just kind of being mean. Oh, well. Is there any natural food in the nether? I remember when Minecraft first came out with the nether, you could kill the zombie pigmen and you'd get cooked pork chops every time you killed them. But I don't think that's any I don't think that's the case any longer. I okay, there's another blazeman right there. I don't think that works that way. I don't even think they drop rotten flesh anymore. So it's kinda difficult to sustain yourself in the nether. Alright, let's see if any of these walls like okay, so Okay, so this one keeps going, but we just have to dig through. Let's see what's down here. Okay, just dead end. That's fantastic. Great. I wasted my time. Okay, there's a little drop here. Nothing. Okay, never mind. Come on! I want... I, I want to go find the nether wart. Can we just dig down? Is that is that a thing? No? All right, let's go face the blazeman wherever he went. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh, well, we secured half of our objectives. We got plenty of blaze rods, and now we can go pretty much store our bounty, and then I think we should head out and find a new house next time we load up Minecraft. But we need to decide what we're going to take with us, because we obviously can't take everything that we own. Like, we want, to, we want to take saplings and things like that, things that regrow themselves. And it's nighttime. And I don't know if I want to take these guys. I mean, they're kind of noisy. I'm sure they're cool, but still. Okay, so let's start collecting the things that we want to take for sure. We'll prioritize a bit. Potatoes. We don't really need potatoes or rotten flesh. I want to take all the food that we have, though. How is this not done smelting? It's been smelting for like three episodes. <laughs> you don't even have any coal under you. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Obviously, we want to take almost all of this. Okay, our inventory is already full, so... <sighs> oh, hey, we got magma cream. Where would we get that from? Maybe that was from that one guy that we murdered. Okay. Soul sand, we don't really... Okay, netherrack and soul sand, those kind of come in bunches. So we don't need to ha have that in our inventory. But we want to take all this stuff too. Oh, it's really difficult to decide what to take. And we're going to end up taking the bones too, because we have a lot of those. We don't want to have to kill that many skeletons again. Hmm. We don't really need that much glowstone. That's not much at all. Lapis. There's no real use for lapis, but I want to take it with me just in case I'm wrong about that. Uh, we're not leaving behind the apple. That's just not happening. Oh, yes. A cool thing you can do with an apple is actually make it a golden apple. 
We do that by surrounding it by gold bars, I think? No? Maybe it's gold nuggets. Ah, oh, yes. That must be it. Okay, I just made that many... Alright. So what you do is put an apple in the middle, and then surround it by... There we go. Oh, it has a blue name and everything? That's... That's fantastic. Okay. Here we go. Let's get our gold back. We can leave one nugget behind. Okay, we do not need the nether brick fence. Let's go through every single thing in here. And we don't need oak wood. That is pretty much everywhere. Now, I just realized we made another thing to take. Okay, an iron axe. We don't really need that. Leather, we're taking this, definitely. Because we can turn that into amazing things later. We're not going to run out of food anytime soon. So we don't need to take our fishing rod. We need the slime balls, though. Ah, oh, it's really difficult. I don't want to part ways with a lot of this stuff. Let's not ch take only three cooked chicken or two cooked pork chops. We want to take, like, massive amounts of food, like this. So once we cook these pork chops, then they can blend in. So this is finished smelting. Let's cook the pork chops, and then we'll take one full stack of them. We are... Yeah, we need a water bucket wherever we go, because it's kind of good for scaffolding things. Let's go ahead and make a quick stack of torches. Where did the sticks go? Okay. Sorry, I'm getting really distracted. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, we have a full stack of torches. And now... Let's see. We want the slime balls. We're going to take that, because that's going to have another stack. There's skeleton. No, it's not important. Okay. We don't need eggs, because... Um, we can get eggs later, I guess? Maybe? Do we need them? We don't need a gold nugget. We don't need... Oh, we're taking a saddle, definitely. Poisonous potato, I'm sorry, we can leave you behind. Ugh, the flowers, I don't know. Sugar cane, we... We want one of these, we want pumpkin... Damn it, I don't... Ugh, this is a lot to leave behind, you know? Alright, well... I'm gonna take my frustration out on these guys real quick. Alright, come here. Okay. I don't know what I want to take, really. I, I want to take all my coal with me. Maybe we should explore where we're going to go first. And then we'll go ahead and take things in loads. We can make two trips. But only two trips. Alright, well, this video's been kind of lengthy. Since we... I oh, I don't know exactly how lengthy, since we cut it in half. Ow! I need to start trying to go for critical hits more. I tried a battle of, like, monsters just kind of on level ground, but if you jump, you can get a critical hit. Like this. See those that fancy animation? But it's really difficult to, like, pull back from the creepers when you do that. Alright, let's try and get some practice in. <gasps> oh! God! <laughs> that was really close. I'm really glad I was listening with his headset. I would not have caught that. I was like, I stood for a second, just completely silent, listening for footsteps, because I swore I heard something behind me. I probably should have just looked. Alright, we want to take our pumpkins with us, definitely. So let's go ahead and store... Let's make a chest full of things we're going to take regardless. That can be... This chest right here. Since it's about the same size as our inventory. Things that we need to take. Okay, we don't need this, and I think we decided against one other thing in here. I can't remember what it was. Oh well, if I can't see it now, then obviously I kind of want it. I want to take it. No, it's potatoes. I don't want potatoes. <laughs> I don't want to take that regardless. All right, let's stick that. Can you cook potatoes? Oh my god, you can cook them? Maybe they're not so useless. Okay, we're hungry. We're going to have to sit around and see how much this fills up. If they're not useless, then we're definitely taking them with, them with us. Oh, big potato? Oh, okay, yes, they're definitely not useless at all. Okay, so we're taking the potatoes. And let's see how much experience we get from... from getting all of our items out of here. Okay, I think we have enough to enchant our sword, if we want but we need a new sword. 
I don't want to get caught with my pants down like in one of the last videos where I was trapped in a corner with skeletons. That was a nightmare. So we'll try and avoid that by making a sword and enchanting it right now. Alright. Levels... <laughs> yeah, I put my, my enchantment table away, didn't I? Alright, seven. Should I go for a seven, or should I go for something else? Actually, I think we should make some bookshelves real quick. Alright, so our, our leather is in here, and we make bookshelves with the reeds and the leather. So let's go find... If we have paper. Yes, we have paper. Okay, how do you make books again? I think it was leather in a the corner, then... Okay, there we go. So we're gonna need plenty of these. Like, a lot more than that. Fifteen should be more than enough. I think we only really needed, I think, eight. Oh, uh, eighteen might be... We need a little bit more, I think. Yeah, we do. Okay. I just want to get a slightly higher level enchantment, just in case it might come in handy. Okay, now, the way you make a bookshelf, at least I think, I've actually done no research on this, so I'm going purely off of a guess, is I think you do wood on top and bottom, and then books in the middle? Okay, yes, that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of, bunch of bookshelves. Well, three is the max we can make now. Ooh, librarian? Yes, yeah, so we're definitely scholars. Alright. Now what you do is you surround a, your enchantment table with bookshelves. Usually not so close. But I don't really see the harm. We don't have a lot of room. Wait, no? No. No. Okay, maybe we did it incorrectly. Where's our axe? Okay, let's do this properly. We can do it outside. Oh, God. Ugh. You only get books back when you re recollect them, don't you? Well, that's kind of a pain. Okay, let's make sure not to have to do that again. So, let's put that down there. Then let's surround it properly. Okay, that's definitely properly. Let's see if we can get a higher level enchant... Okay, there we go. There's a nice level 10. Let's see if we can get 11 or 12, maybe? There's 11. I think we can max it out at 11, then. So let's go for a level... Oh, no, 12. Ah, there's... that's a nice sword. Like, it's not a great sword, but since Smite isn't a very... It's not a great enchantment, you don't look forward to getting Smite, since Smite is increased damage to zombies. But the fire aspect is a very nice addition. Fire aspect is kind of, well, I can't remember, it's like the flame bow, where it sets mobs on fire once you hit them. So this is going to be very nice for when we go on our travels to go to wherever we're going to settle down at next. And I decided that we are going to move a long while ago, because we don't have any cows in this area, and they do spawn in our world. And that's a problem, we're going to need them later on. And this little area kind of limits us to doing not much. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. When I leave this video off, I'm probably going to go explore on my own without recording, since it might take a long while. And then when we get back, we can go ahead and travel there with all our stuff. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.